Welcome back to Squawk Box this morning. Elon Musk's SpaceX is going to be flying its first mission to space with an all-civilian crew. It's going to take place later this year. And it, of course, is a major milestone for the space tourism industry. The four-person crew will be led by Jared Isaac, uh, Isaac Men. Uh, he's the CEO of payment processing company Who. Uh, he's also a pilot. One crew seat is reserved for uh, St. Jude Ambassador, and the remaining two will be decided by online competitions. NBC's Tom Costello spoke exclusively to Musk and Isaacman, and Musk described what this mission means to him. I think, first of all, uh, I think people uh, will really enjoy uh, you know, seeing things vicariously from the video that is, you know, and the, the watching the mission. It's like when, when, when um, you know, when America went to the moon in '69. It wasn't just a few people; a humanity went to the moon. We all went there with them, um, and I think it's, it's something similar here. We'll, we will all be with with Jared on the journey, and we'll be seeing it in real time. Uh, and then, as I mentioned earlier, this is going to be uh, an important. Uh, it's an important milestone on the road towards making uh, access to space more affordable. Musk said the length of the mission was up to Isaacman, but uh, he's assuming it will last two to four days, and hopefully we will all go uh, on that mission uh, with them. In the meantime, in other Elon Musk news, uh, he tweeted just this uh, over a couple hours ago, quote, off Twitter for a while. So looks like Elon may be taking a break here. I know the feeling. Times that I do that myself. I usually don't announce it, but there are times I just stop watching. Anyway, in the meantime, Virgin Galactic shares are soaring again today. They jumped yesterday after the company announced that it would redo its aborted December flight test as early as next week. Yesterday's gain came despite a downgrade by Morgan Stanley to equal weight from overweight. This morning, those shares are up another 11.5%. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.